what is it about a still image that is most powerful to you in in telling a story that enables you to say what you want to say about a race in a, in a still frame well it's and it's it's something i've said recently but i've always believed in it it and the the saying that i've kind of made up is did a race even happen if there's no photographs of it like you know if you because social media is such a powerful part of not just our world but a sports personality now and a team's personality their presence if they don't have pictures to share of of their weekend or or from formula one um you know if you go to f1's instagram page like and you start scrolling yes there's videos but it's like 80 percent photos to 20 percent videos and it's it would be the same on any team or any driver if you don't have those pictures to share you don't have those those moments in a still photograph and it's just broadcast footage a it's not that interesting if you're just sharing broadcast footage okay yeah it reached it reached you know 100 million people um in the broadcast but i think if you cumulatively combined all of the engagement that you get from the photographers on a weekend it far 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 exceeds that 100 million um views and engagement so it is a really like photographers do play a really important part of the social media and the storytelling of a race or a, an event or a series but i think it's easily forgotten when people are like oh it's just a picture like you know it's not just a picture somebody had to walk to that corner or set up to wait for lewis hamilton or max verstappen to walk into that beam of light and that you like just screen grab it off of twitter or instagram and make it your your wallpaper on your computer or your iphone and they're like oh best picture of lewis hamilton ever i love you lewis it's like well somebody made that picture they didn't just lewis didn't take it himself i promise you that i don't even know that he's ever held a camera and secondly it, it was created by somebody that had to purposely think about it for you to then go and then you know praise lewis hamilton but somebody else is the creative genius behind that picture of lewis and was that that passion for the power of still imagery and the the craft of photography was that what drove you to collaborate with drew gibson in your workshop series and and share that information that spirit of, of opening up the industry could you speak a little bit about that Partially, um, Drew and I started our workshop series, Paddock Focus, uh, just because we both get so many questions from, from fans, from other photographers, from people that are interested in, in our industry. You know, we get bombarded in a good way with, with how, did you, how do you do what you do? How did you get to where you are? Um, how do I find clients? How do I get credentials to races? And it's never really been a secret. Uh, it's just been something that not everybody talked about, I guess, for one reason or another. Um, and we wanted to be able to, to, and honestly, like selfishly monetize how, how many of these types of questions we get, because we can give our insight, we can give our experience to those people that are really, truly interested in, in wanting to learn it because anybody can go to a race and enjoy the experience of photographing a race. You don't need credentials to do that. So we want to be able to share our experience that we've learned through our careers, which is cumulatively between the two of us, probably like 25 or 30 years of, of photography and covering racing between the two of us um, to be able to share, you know, what we love about the sport, but also the things we've learned the hard way. And, you know, because when we both started, there wasn't such a thing as social media. Um, when I first started, it was really the very, 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 very infancy of social media. And he was he predates that. So he was all the way back into like just magazines and newspapers and teamwork. And now it's a lot of our work is just being pushed to social media. So being able to help people understand how how the industry works, um, answer those questions that that people weren't answering previously is has been really rewarding for both of us. That's really interesting that your kind of your your openness to share that I think is really gonna help that next generation of guys that are, are maybe picking up a camera for their first time just now or they're, they're young formula one fans and that they to reinstate that passion for still imagery as a, a means beyond the broadcast beyond the netflix show of telling the story of, of a race weekend i think it's really powerful that um that spirit is there not only you know the drivers are always talking about fostering young race drivers and getting more people into the sport that way 
but the attitude of, of getting more people into that journalism side of it i think is is really powerful and um, a great project would highly recommend anyone to, to check that out if you're looking for more more detail on, on some of jamie's insight there really brilliant stuff mm-hmm.